had a transmission fault come up. It's like an orange air that comes up on the dash. When you turn on the car, it says transmission fault. Put it into park before shutting off vehicle. I think it's just, it's the auxiliary battery that's under here that you know, when you shut off the car, um, it uses that battery to, it, if you left your car in, in like gear, when you shut it off, it'll automatically switch it to park. There is this, this little cover that goes right here. I removed that first. And these just have three little clips that look like this. It looks like this from the bottom. And all it is is a clip so you can push either side and then just pull it out. There's three of those here, here, and here. And then when I got in there, I realized the battery's right there. So I have to pull off this thing too. I think you just grab it here and pull that down. Okay, so super easy to access this. No tools required. I, I used one of these because I didn't know how these work. But either way. Okay, so there's the battery we're replacing. I found this on Amazon. I think it was like 20 bucks. Looks like there's a clip here you have to push. And then that little plastic thing holding in the battery is, I mean, I can't push it down at all. So now, oh my gosh, that is so hard. Okay, it does go up a little bit. I can't move that at all. Okay, so these are the two batteries. This is the one that was out of the car. It does have this little tab on it, but it looks like the same. I don't think I'll have to move that solder, but we'll see. No, you don't need to. So it installed much easier. It was much easier to push the battery back in. This clip was kind of hard to, to get off, but the way I was able to do it was I used two, I used two tools. I used a screwdriver in here. I put it in, so this is like a tab right here. You're supposed to push this down but it's so hard I couldn't do it. So I stuck a screwdriver in here and kind of pushed towards the battery and it like moved a lot. Then I used this and I stuck it in here in order to help like wiggle out the battery. And as soon as I was able to get this clip past the lip of the battery, I was able to then let go of my tools, grab the whole battery with my hand and wiggle it out. And going back in, it just, it went back in immediately. And now the only two pieces I have to install back is this, is this thing, whatever. Okay, I just got that installed. There's two clips you have to line up. There's a clip on this side and there's a clip right where this is. See like that piece of metal. And then there's another one on this side. So you just have to line up both those and then that should be able to just push in and clip back in. And then for the other one, we have this trim piece which I think scoots up in here, and then hopefully that should be easy to put back in.